So there's no one way to create a super app as it doesn't matter what technologies or architecture you use. As you can see, super apps are architecture agnostic and we want to show you our way to approach super apps with Repack and Module Federation. Um, so Lukasz, could you please tell us as a developer not directly uh, involved in Repack development, what Repack means to you? Yeah, okay. So uh, when I first joined Callstack two years ago, um, I've heard about Repack and I know what it is. And the main functionality of Repack is to allow developers to use different bundler than default bundler for React Native, which is Metro. Metro is default bundler for React Native. But if you want to do some more things, you can, with Repack, use Webpack, which is a bundler for web and has a huge community, has a big plugin ecosystem. And we have a separate episode of the React Native Show podcast with uh, Zach Jackson talking about uh, Webpack and Repack. And I hope we can link it maybe in the chat or maybe uh, later. But that's the main functionality of Repack is to enable us to use Webpack. But what it also enables is usage of module federation, which we can uh, use to download some chunks from remote to our application, which enables this whole super apps ecosystem. I don't have to bundle everything together in my app. I can allow different teams to work on different functionalities in different time, and I can remotely download the, their work into my main app. So I guess that's what we'll be talking about here in this webinar. That's exactly right. Um, so we wanted to highlight that we recently released our very own template of a super app built with Repack and Module Federation called Super App Showcase, which is already made public on GitHub. And the goal of this project was to create a maintainable project structure that can be uh, used as an inspiration to creating your own super apps. Um, and all of that uh, we have uh, inside of the monorepo, but we want to stress out that monorepo is not a requirement when it comes to super apps and it's an optional step. And we also have an example where one of the mini app that actually is inside of this super app uh, in this showcase is uh, outside of the main repository and, uh, uh, and shows how it can be utilized uh, in terms of the super apps. Uh, so now let's uh, let's move to the super app showcase demo. Yeah, I will ask uh, Kuba to take the screen share uh, for this purpose. And I also want to say that the important part is that we can also use the mini apps inside the super app, but also we can set them up so they work independently as a separate application. Yep, that's that's exactly right. Um, so uh, to the left, uh, you can see the architecture diagram of our super app monorepo and the user repository to the right. And uh, pay for the for this demo, please pay no attention to the shell that's on the left because that's that's a functionality that that we won't discuss during this demo. Um, so let's get started. And as you can see, we are on the welcome screen and that screen is actually a sign-in screen that comes from the AUF mini app. Uh, and, um, and yeah, let's proceed and see uh, what other. And now we can see the dashboard, which is, um, oh, one more thing, just pay no attention to the design. All we want to highlight in here is just architecture. And, uh, and how all these mini apps come together to create this super app. So one word about the design. I think we can say that uh, the UI library used in the showcase is React Native Paper. So big shout out to Ryu. Yep, was the maintainer of that library. 
Um, all right, going back to the demo, um, we move on to the services tab where we can see all different mini apps that are uh, part of the super app. And uh, moving on to, if I click on any of these tiles, we'll be moved to the separate navigator that actually is exposed and comes from the uh, different app. Now, let's see how that looks for the booking. And we are in a completely separate app that's also embedded into the super app. And the same is the same goes for shopping. And just the same for the news mini app. And but that one, please be reminded that comes from another repository, uh, but still works just the same. And finally, we have the dashboard mini app. And that concludes our demo. Uh, what I want to say is that <clears throat> it's really interesting how you look at the app on the right and it doesn't look like it is built in any different way than like a normal regular application. It works uh, the same and user doesn't have to know the difference, the, the underlying architecture choices. But on the left-hand side, the architecture overview looks super complicated. <laughs> so yeah, I, I wanted just to say that. Yeah, I think that it's one of the benefits is that from the user perspective, there's no real difference. Maybe besides a few like loader screens or spinners when we actually fetch the, the remote bundles or the federate modules um, in terms of module federation architecture. Uh, and the the the, the con of it is the complex architecture, as we can see on the diagram, as you said, uh, but we get a lot of benefits coming from it. And uh, like the list of benefits, it's it's pretty huge, but the, the main point, I think, uh, and, and the main seller here uh, is that um, you can have uh, separate independent teams working on a separate set of features. Uh, and it was like the main selling point for, uh, for the client that I'm working for in Colstack. Uh, that decided to invest into this technology. Uh, you can have separate teams working on a separate set of features independently, and then uh, by leveraging module federation, combine them in whatever combination you want. So you can have news repository, the news app, uh, built as a standalone app, deployed uh, to the app store. Uh, but if there's a business decision that you, for whatever reason, want to use part of that app, or even the whole app inside another app, you can do that pretty easily. I would yeah. uh, and with that repack, you would have to re-implement everything basically, or just copy the code to the to the other app, which is obviously not a good idea. So I think that's the that's the main benefit of the uh, of the architecture. Even though that it's complex, it saves a lot of time uh, development time in the end. Yeah, but, but exactly, I, it's not a, not a solution without its cons, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and also maybe this complex architecture we are explaining it right now we are like preparing the template so that it is understandable and it is uh in some kind of cohesive way well but just looking at the diagram you you still need to take a second to actually understand what's going on right yeah yeah and uh, the second, the second uh, main advantage of it is the over-the-air updates. So let's say you have a host app uh, uh, that is deployed in the store, uh, and this host app is using the news, right? Part of the news app. Um, and um, with Repack, uh, if there is an update to the JavaScript side of the news app, you can just deploy this new version and pull it uh, into the the host app without. Uh, having to go through the new normal release process. So it's it's working, it's kind of addressing the similar point as a code push. Yeah, so lastly, I just wanted to mention that we are still developing the uh, Super App Showcase and you can expect that new features will arrive there shortly. Uh, so just stay tuned for updates.